presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to trigger a timer with the header in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you how to use Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, join the other 10,000 plus people who have subscribed to this show. I know that the vast majority of you are not subscribed, so this would be a great opportunity to get notifications for every new tutorial that I release on Tuesdays. So, this is a feature that I did not notice when they added into ProPresenter 7. Could be that it's been there the whole time. I just didn't notice it. So, what good is it? Well, if you want to have the header to trigger a timer so that your um, worship leader knows how long a song is supposed to be in case they lose count um, then they could go oh I've only got 30 seconds left clearly I'm not looping through this twice more you know something like that or if you've got a someone running a camera I often do that at my church that person can look at the stage screen and see, oh, I'm near the end of the song. I probably shouldn't go up to right by a backup singer and stand right where the pastor is going to walk, etc. So it's a really helpful thing to have for people that are up leading or serving in some upfront capacity. So how do we do it? Well, let's head over to the computer and take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter 7, and let me just pick one of these here. Um, and you'll notice that I've already added some headers here. So for the pre-service loop, maybe I want to uh, add a countdown timer so that that lets people know people that are leading on the stage screen where that uh, uh, when that's going to be over so I could do a countdown to a time and let's say I'm recording this at 128 p.m. so let's say 130 p.m. And now before I start my slide loop, I could just click trigger here and notice that it comes up here. I think there's, uh, I think I set something incorrectly up here. Yep, for whatever reason, I said it didn't take at 1.30, so 1.30. So there we go. Now that's good. So I could have this slide loop up and then when this counts down the last few seconds, you know, it, this one isn't set to loop automatically, but let's say that it did. I could just have it go through and, you know, when the time comes, I can go to worship. And let's say I've got a worship timer. So I could use the exact same timer, but this time, instead of countdown to a time, I could do an amount of time. So let's say five minutes. Obviously, during practice, you'd want to know how long a song was supposed to be. And I'd also probably want allow overrun so that uh, that's clear. And now, when we get into that, I can click trigger here and notice this does five minutes and then I can go through the entirety of the song etc so in that way I can use the headers to do more things than um, just having them separate um, these individually so by the way, what I'm doing down here is I've just gone into screens, 
edit layouts for my stage screen and I click here and then here under text if I hide my little picture in picture I selected the timer that I had selected earlier and notice that I used the exact same timer over and over again uh, just changing it for on each of those headers so that enables me to uh, not change the stage screen it's just always showing this particular timer for the different segments of the worship service so that's how you can trigger timers from the headers in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. Go head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, and quick. Give me your name and email address, and instead of charging me for it, I'll just make a login for you. And then you can take that class at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.